Longman is a publishing company founded in London, England, in 1724 and is owned by Pearson plc. Since 1968, Longman has been used primarily as an imprint by Pearson's school's business. The Longman brand is also used for the Longman schools in China and the Longman Dictionary. History Beginnings The Longman Company was founded by Thomas Longman, the son of Ezekiel Longman, a gentleman of Bristol. Thomas was apprenticed in 1716 to John Osborne, a London bookseller, and at the expiration of his apprenticeship married Osborne's daughter. In August 1724, he purchased the stock and household goods of William Taylor, the first publisher of Robinson Crusoe, for £2,282 9s. 6D. Taylor's two shops in Paternoster Row, London, were known respectively as the Black Swan and the Ship, and became the publishing house premises. Longman entered into partnership with his father-in-law, Osborne, who held one-sixth of the shares in Ephraim Chambers' encyclopedia. Longman himself was one of the six booksellers who undertook the responsibility of Samuel Johnson's dictionary. Second and third generations in 1754, Longman took into partnership his nephew, Thomas Longman, and the title of the firm became T. and T. Longman. Upon the death of his uncle in 1755, Longman became sole proprietor. He greatly extended the colonial trade of the firm. In 1794 he took Owen Rees as a partner. In the same year, Thomas Brown entered the house as an apprentice. Longman had three sons. Of these, Thomas Norton Longman succeeded to the business. In 1804 two more partners were admitted, and the former apprentice Brown became a partner in 1811. In 1824 the title of the firm was changed to Longman, Hurst, Rees, Orm, Brown and Green. In 1799 Longman purchased the copyright of Lindley Murray's English Grammar, which had an annual sale of about 50,000 copies. In the following year Rickmel Magnall's historical and miscellaneous questions for the use of young people was purchased, and went through 84 editions by 1857. About 1800 he also purchased the copyright of Southey's Joan of Arc and Wordsworth's lyrical ballads, from Joseph Cottle of Bristol. He published the works of Wordsworth, Coleridge, Southey and Scott, and acted as London agent for the Edinburgh Review, which was started in 1802. In 1802 appeared the first part of Rees' Encyclopedia, edited by Abraham Rees. This was completed in 39 volumes plus 6 volumes of plates in 1819. In 1814 arrangements were made with Thomas More for the publication of Layla Rook, for which he was paid £3,000, and when Archibald Constable failed in 1826, Longmans became the proprietors of the Edinburgh Review. They issued in 1829 Lardner's Cabinet Encyclopedia, and in 1832 McCulloch's Commercial Dictionary. Fourth and fifth generations Thomas Norton Longman died on 29 August 1842, leaving his two sons, Thomas and William, in control of the business in Paternoster Row. Their first success was the publication of Macaulay's Lays of Ancient Rome which was followed in 1841 by the issue of the first two volumes of his History of England, which after a few years had a sale of 40,000 copies. The two brothers were well known for their literary talent. Thomas Longman edited a beautifully illustrated edition of the New Testament, and William Longman was the author of several important books. Among them a history of the three cathedrals dedicated to St. Paul and a work on the history of the life and times of Edward III. In 1863 the firm took over the business of Don William Parker, and with it Fraser's magazine, and the publication of the works of John Stuart Mill and J. A. Froud, while in 1890 they incorporated with their own all the publications of the old firm of Rivington, established in 1711. The family control of the firm was continued by Thomas Norton Longman, son of Thomas Longman, 1900 onwards. In December 1940, Longman's Paternoster Row offices were destroyed in the Blitz, along with most of the company's stock. The company survived this crisis, 
however, and became a public company in 1948. Longman was acquired by the global publisher Pearson, owner of Penguin and the Financial Times, in 1968. In 1972, Mark Longman, last of the Longman family to run the company, died. Longman continued to exist as an imprint of Pearson, under the name Pearson Longman. Pearson Longman specialized in English, including English as a second or foreign language, history, economics, philosophy, political science, and religion. Longman is now primarily used by Pearson's ELT business. The Longman brand is now only used for the Longman schools in China and oddments such as the Longman Dictionary and Kennedy's Revised Latin Primer. All other textbooks and products use the Pearson brand imprint. Longman Imprints 1724 T. Longman 1725 J. Osborne and T. Longman 1734 T. Longman 1745 T. Longman and T. Shule. 1747 T. Longman. 1753 T. and T. Longman. 1755 M. and T. Longman. 1755 T. Longman. 1793 T. N. Longman. Also T. Longman. 1797 Messes. Longman and Reese. 1799 TN, Longman and O, Reese, 1800 Longman and Reese, 1804 Longman, Hurst, Reese and Orm, 1811 Longman, Hurst, Reese, Ormer Brown, 1823 Longman, Hurst, Reese, Orm, Brown and Green, 1825 Longman, Reese, Orm, Brown and Green, 1832 Longman, Reese, Orm, Brown, Green and Longmans. 1838 Longman, Orm, Brown, Green and Longmans. 1840 Longman, Orm and Co. 1841 Longman, Brown and Co. 1842 Longman, Brown, Green and Longmans. 1856 Longman, Brown, Green, Longmans and Roberts. 1859 Longman, Green, Longman and Roberts. 1862 Longman, Green, Longman, Roberts and Green. 1865 Longman's, Green, Reader and Dyer. 1880 Longman's, Green and Co. 1926 Longman's, Green and Co. 1959 Longman's. 1969 Longman.